Prepare to read The Great Fuzz Frenzy Genre Study Fantasies are stories with made-up events that could not really happen. As you read The Great Fuzz Frenzy, look for animal characters that talk and act like people. The beginning, middle, and ending of the story. Setting or where the story takes place. Set a purpose. As you read, make connections by finding ways that this text is like things in your life and other texts you have read. This will help you understand and remember the text. Power words. Gasped. Frenzy. Battleground. Feud. Meet Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Crummel. Susan Stevens Crummel is an award-winning author. Janet Stevens is an award-winning author and illustrator. They are sisters, and they make a great team. Susan and Janet have been working together on books since 1997. Susan enjoys traveling and sharing her stories at different schools. Janet loves to draw animals. Funny animals are often the heroes in her stories. Of all Janet Stevens's book awards, she is most proud of those voted on by young readers. The Great Fuzz Frenzy by Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Crummel Illustrated by Janet Stevens Violet! No! Violet! Where's the ball? Woof! Down it went. Boink! Boink! Run for your life! Watch out below! Thump! Thump! Rumble! Rumble! Help! 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 Plunk! There it sat, perfectly still. The prairie dogs waited, perfectly still. Slowly, they crept out, inch by inch, dog by dog. What is it? A thing. A good thing or a bad thing, a round thing. A strange thing. A scary thing. What should we do? Don't touch it. Is it alive? Shh. Stand back, boomed a voice. You act like gutless groundhogs, afraid of your own shadow. Oh no, it's Big Bark. Big Mouth is more like it. He's the meanest dog around. I thought he left town. Well, I'm back, growled Big Bark. So out of my way. Let me have a look. But before anyone could move, little Pipsqueak raced past Big Bark, reached out, and poked the big round thing. No, the crowd yelled. It's fuzzy, said Pip. Oh, the crowd gasped. A tiny piece of fuzz was caught in Pip's claw. She looked at it, turned it, sniffed it. Then she put it on her head. Look at me. Ah, the crowd sighed. Quit hamming it up, you half-pint hamster, snarled Big Bark. I'm in charge. But those prairie dogs didn't listen. They had to have fuzz. I like it. Me too. I want some. Do you? Oh, yes. So do I. So do we. So do they. Big Bark, move over. Get out of our way. They charged past him and grabbed at the fuzz. The prairie dogs pulled it, puffed it, stretched it, fluffed it, tugged it, twirled it, spiked it, 
swirled it. They fuzzed their ears, their heads, their noses. They fuzzed their feet, their tails, their toeses. Big Bark was beside himself. Listen to me, you ridiculous rodents. Stop this fuzzy foolishness. But those prairie dogs didn't listen. They were busy being hot dogs and silly dogs, corny dogs and frilly dogs, top dogs, funny dogs, super dogs, bunny dogs. You're all nuts, you squirrely fuzz freaks, yelled Big Bark, storming off. News of the fuzz spread from hole to hole, burrow to burrow. Town to town. Soon prairie dogs from everywhere were coming to see that fuzz. They came, they saw, they picked. They twisted it, braided it, danced and paraded it. It was a fuzz frenzy, a fuzz fiesta, a fuzz fandangle. The whole prairie was a buzz about fuzz. They picked and pruned and pulled and pinched. They pinched and pulled and pruned and picked. Until the fuzz ran out. That big round thing was fuzzless, naked as a plucked chicken. Some prairie dogs got a lot of fuzz. Some got a little. Some got no fuzz at all. And they were mad. Give me that fuzz. Why? Because. It's my fuzz. Well, it was. Get that fuzz. Get that fuzz. Pulling, grabbing, swiping, nabbing, poking, jabbing. It was war. War between the fuzzes and the fuzz knots. Their peaceful town was a battleground. It was a fuzz fight, a fuzz feud, a fuzz fiasco. I started this, moaned Pipsqueak. I have to do something. Everyone, stop. Stop fighting. But those prairie dogs didn't listen. The battle raged on, friend against friend. Cousin against cousin, dog against dog, until no one was left standing. They were pooped, fuzzled out, fast asleep. Hours later, the prairie dogs began to stir. Uh oh, where's the fuzz? I don't know. Where did it go? Someone has stolen our fuzz. Cried Pipsqueak. Who did? He did. She did. You did. I did. Barked a voice from above. I stole the fuzz. The prairie dogs froze. Then they raced up, up, up the long tunnel. There stood Big Bark, covered with fuzz from head to tail. I'm king of the fuzz. He snarled. "Do you hear me? I'm king of the swoop." The sky went black. What happened? Where's Big Bark? Look. There he was, high above their heads, dangling from the talons of an eagle. No more Big Bark. The crowd cheered. Yay! Don't yay! He's one of us," yelled Pip. "We have to save him. How would you like to be Eagle's lunch?" "No," the crowd yelled. "Big Bark, wiggle free!" the prairie dog shouted. "Shake loose! Hurry! We'll catch you!" Big Bark twisted and turned, wormed and squirmed. At last. He was free of the fuzz. Yay! The crowd cheered. 
Big Bark fell faster and faster. No! Prairie Dog scattered. Get back here, yelled Pip. Quick, make a circle. Hold out your paws. They ran left, then right, then left. Plop! You saved me, Big Bark cried. But I stole your fuzz. Now it's gone forever. Good, said Pip Squeak. Fuzz is trouble, right? Yay! The crowd cheered. Friend hugged friend. Cousin hugged cousin. Dog hugged dog. We don't need fuzz, said Pip. But with Eagle around, we do need a watchdog with a big bark. Big Bark rose up on his hind legs. Eagle's back. Bark. This is not a test. Bark. All dogs below. Bark. The prairie dogs raced down, down, down the long tunnel. Phew! We made it. That was close. Three cheers for Big Bark, the best watchdog ever. Yip yip, yay! Yip yip, yay! Yip yip, yay! Just doing my job, Big Bark smiled. Are we ever getting tangled up with fuzz again? Cried Pip Squeak. No, the crowd yelled. No more fuzz. No more fuzz. And from that day forward, the prairie dogs lived happily and fuzzlessly ever after. Turn and talk. Use details from the Great Fuzz Frenzy to answer these questions with a partner. One, make connections. Think about a time when it was hard for you to share. How does that help you understand what happens when the prairie dogs find the fuzz? Two, why do the prairie dogs cheer when Eagle takes Big Bark? Why do their feelings change? Three, find places in the story where the authors repeat words and sounds. How does this make the story fun to read? Talking tip. Ask to learn more about one of your partner's ideas. Tell me more about 